because sometimes you want clips to fit specific spaces. And we've talked about using the rate stretch tool before to be able to take a clip and make sure it fits a certain length, either to speed it up to make it fit a shorter length or to slow it down to make it fit a longer length. But there is a way of being a little bit more precise rather than dragging it. And that's by doing three and four point edits. Three point edits won't speed the clip up or slow them down, but four point edits quite often do. I'm just going to go through the difference between a three point and a four point edit. Now what it requires is three points to be set between the clip and the timeline. Now clips, as I say, pretty much already have two points. They have an in point and an out point. So if I go down to the clip I want to use, which is this one here, you can see it's got a beginning and an end, which is effectively an in point and an out point. But I'm going to be a little bit more precise. I'm going to start there, in point, with the lobster pots in focus, and go just to the birds begin to be in focus and set out. So I've got an in and an out point on that clip and I want it to drop in at a specific time in my timeline. So all I need to do is set either an in point or an out point. And I would choose an in point if I want the clip to begin at a certain point. And in actual fact, I want it to end at a certain point. I want it to end at this particular clip here. So if I click O in my timeline, I have an out point. So now I have three points. On my clip over here, I have an in point and an out point. And over here in the timeline, I have an out point. So when I drop this clip into my timeline, it's going to say, OK, the out point has got to match the out point of this. And the in point is going to be however long this clip happens to be, whether it overwrites all of this clip or it overwrites just a little bit of this clip. OK, so I've got an in point and an out point, and I've specified the out point here. So the out point of this clip is going to hit absolutely on this out point here. But the in point of this clip is just going to be wherever it would be along this line. It's not precise. So if I select the clip and I just hit full stop to overwrite, you can see that is the length of the clip. It's out point matched, this out point here, and it went all the way along to this point here, which was how long the clip actually was. I'm going to control Z to undo that and do it one more time. This time I'm just going to take the whole clip, so I'm going to go I and I'm going to go O. I'm going to have the whole length of the clip here. In fact, it even goes into another clip. Let's just take it before that go O there. So that's the whole length of the clip. And this time I'm going to set the in point. Now I need to clear the present out point. So I can right click up here and go clear out point. So I've got nothing set. And I want it to start in, say, just here. So I hit I. So I've got three points. I've got an in point on this clip and an out point. And I've got an in point on my timeline. So that when I do an insert edit, I hit the full stop key. The in point is going to match this in point but the out point is going to be wherever it is, which is clearly going to be over this clip somewhere here. So let's do that. Select the clip, hit the full stop key, and there you go. It's written right over the clip, which perhaps isn't always what you want. But that is a three-point edit. I set an in point or an out point, particularly on the clip, and then I decide where the in point or the out point has to be on the timeline. Control Z to undo. Right, and I'm now going to also right click, and I'm going to clear this in point. So I've got no in and out points here. However, there is such a thing as a four point edit. So say I want this clip here to fit into a small gap here. I actually want it to fit in this small area here. So I'm actually going to have an in point and an out point. So that's two points on the clip. And I'm going to have an in point and an out point on my timeline. So I do I for in, down arrow to this particular edit point and O. So I want this clip to fit into this gap. So when I select the clip and I hit the full stop key, I'm going to get a dialog box. It says, OK, I can fit it into that gap, but how do you want me to do it? Do you want me to ignore the sequence out point? In other words, flow over as far as it will go. Do you want me to ignore the sequence in point? In other words, it, the out point matches the out point, but the in point can be somewhere along here. Do you want me to ignore the source in point, the source out point, but also the one at the top, which is the one I really wanted to show you, change clip speed. In other words, whatever speed the clip has to be to fit this little hole that we're creating, make it that speed. And clearly, we're going to have to speed it up quite a bit. So I'm going to say, change clip speed. I'm going to click OK. There is the clip. Now, you're not going to see a great deal. It's just going to fade a lot quicker. And for this particular clip, it works absolutely brilliantly. Let's look at the clip. Just hover over it, and we get the details. And you'll see there it says it's going 222.22%. So it's going an awful lot quicker to fit in. 
Okay, so undo that, Control Z. I'm now going to also right click up here and clear in and out. And I'm going to choose this clip that we've seen before with the wave coming over the rock, which is only a very little clip and we've only got a little bit of it. But I want it to fit in quite a large area. So I've got an in point and an out point set. I'm now going to go over to my timeline, select my timeline and say I want to do I there and again I want to finish at that cut O. So now I'm saying that this really short clip has got to fit in this big long length. So I'm selecting it and I'm going to hit the full stop key. It's going to say the same questions. Really it's only giving me the options for the sequence in and out points or change clip speed. And I do want to change clip speed. So I click change clip speed. Notice that the default is ignore sequence out point. So by default it's going to ignore the sequence out point. The in points are going to match and it's only going to go on for as long as the clip is but we are forcing it to fit into the gap by using this particular option to make sure that the clip is longer. Click that one, click OK, and the clip has fitted in, and it is, let's have a little look, 39% of what it was originally. So let's have a little look. And you can see the water going over in a very dramatic way. And if I was doing that, I would also right-click on the clip, and I would go to Frame Blend, just to make it that little bit smoother. So that is a three point and a four point edit.